Hey you guys, it's a nice blustery day out here in Wisconsin today. And uh, I'm out here by the wood boiler. And one of the things that comes along with burning wood all winter is dealing with the ashes. So today I'm going to show you what we do with them. So if you have a wood boiler, you've seen this before, obviously, but if you don't, this little door that's open here is called, well, I don't know what it's called, but I call it the ashtray. And all the wood that's in the firebox burns, and those ashes go into this section. And you have to clean it out so that the airflow can get into the firebox and maintain your fire. So you have to clean this out to allow for that airflow. To take care of the ashes, we want to move them from the ash tray here and put them in this metal garbage can. And we put them in here until the garbage can is full. So what I'm going to do right now is move the ashes into this can. So once the garbage can of ashes gets really full, we dump it into a wheelbarrow and decide what to do with it next. And there are actually a lot of things that you can do with wood ash. You could mix wood ash with water and that becomes lye, and then you mix that with animal lard and boil it, and then let that dry and it becomes soap. Um, although interesting, that's nothing that I would want to do. At least not, not right now in my life. I don't want to make soap out of ashes. Um, but maybe I will eventually. I'll leave that door open. Um, you could also shine silver with it. And if your dog or cat gets sprayed by a skunk, you can use wood ash, rub it on their coat, and it neutralizes the smell. Um, so there's a lot of applications that you can use with wood ash. We actually use it here on the farm to um, make dust baths for the chickens. The chickens take du take dust baths to reduce uh, the risk of mites. Kind of gives gives them um, a, a nice way to, to stay clean. And they roll around in it, and and it's all dusty, and, and they love it. But today, since we got a really bad ice storm last night, um, you can actually use wood ash to de-ice, and you can use it. So it's it's part traction for your car uh, or your your own feet as you're walking across. A slippery driveway um, and it actually de-ices without harming the dirt or the asphalt or concrete underneath the ice so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to spread this around the driveway as a way to help de-ice So that's it. As you can see behind me, I made a, a nice path from the house to the barn um, so that we don't slip today when we're doing chores or maybe maybe all weekend. It's supposed to be pretty rough all weekend. So that was easy and fast and uh, just one of the many things that we can do with wood ash. So I'm grateful that we can do something with it rather than just pile it up somewhere and wait for it to blow away. It snowed last night. Just a couple inches, but underneath that snow is the layer of ice that we got a day or two ago. 
So 17 degrees, not bad. Two mile an hour wind, that's perfect. But since there's ice underneath the snow, let's talk about what I need to do to run comfortably and safely. I really love these sweaty Betty pants. They are fleece lined um, tights and they keep me really warm on cold days. Balega socks, also great for running in the cold weather. This Under Armour uh, fleece lined tech uh, shirt is amazing for cold weather. It has long sleeves, uh, it really locks in the heat. It's good, it's my go-to. On top of all of it, I wear this Columbia um, vest that I love. It really locks in the warmth. Um, it has lots of pockets and whatever I store in here uh, doesn't seem to jump around and bounce. And so it's really nice. And I can zip it all the way up and it, and it protects my neck and it's a great vest. One of the most important parts is the shoes. I love Nike Pegasus 35s. Uh, they're my holy grail of running shoe. Um, they just fit so well on my feet and uh, I haven't had any aches or pains since I started wearing them. They're wonderful for me. Um, but for the winter and for the rain, I have these Nike uh, Shields, Nike Pegasus 35 Shields. Um, they protect you from uh, from rain and, and some s snow. They're water resistant and uh, or water repellent. They're also a little knobbier on the bottom for better traction on the snow. So I'll be wearing those today. Finally, I'll be wearing this um, mask over my face. It's upside down like this. Um, just to help with my nose and mouth. Uh, these trail heads, convertible uh, gloves and mittens. I'll be wearing those. They're really thick, really nice and warm. And then... Uh, this over my this headband over my ears so that's the last of it and I'm gonna do some dynamic warm-up right now and then hit the road now the final piece here is yak tracks since um, there's ice underneath the snow and I don't really know what to expect because the the ice storm happened uh, after my last run um, I think it's safe uh, it's the safest option to wear these yak tracks on top of my shoes. Uh, there's coils in the back, uh, there's cleats on the front uh, under the forefoot. So these are my favorite things to wear when it is icy and a little bit dangerous out there. Fantastic run, you guys. Um, I'm really happy that I wore my yak truck. Parts of the run were really icy. Parts of it were really snowy and kind of wet and almost slushy. But it was a, you know, there's never, there's never a bad run. And uh, one thing I was thinking about as far as gear goes is when you leave the house in the wintertime, you want to feel a little bit chilly feel a little bit chilly, you know you're dressed properly. Because when you're on your run and your body starts to warm up, you don't feel too hot. You just feel really comfortable. And that's what you should aim for. <sighs> anyway, um, which running, I think I've said this before, is all about maintenance. You know, especially when you're running in snow and ice like this, you can't really expect to go fast. So it's really just about getting outside, enjoying the fresh air, enjoying the crisp, clean, beautiful, cold, chilly air, and being grateful that you're outside and able to have a body that allows you to run. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. And uh, if you feel so inclined, please like and subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you next time, either on the run or on the farm. <laughs>